Now you taste the piece of love to all the real. Read Berserk on the check in. Back with another episode of Ghetto Stars Podcast. Here with motherfucking GMG Moolah, aka GMG Body Bags, motherfucking GMG Buck Dollars. You yeah, know that. In the yeah, motherfucking yeah. building, man. We on deck. We outside. What's you know the word? that. Regular shit, Breeze, man. My Shout out to you, bro. I'm you know that. To be here. That's a fact, man. We appreciate you popping out on us and all of that. From Jersey to Brooklyn, you know the vibes, man. We locked in, you heard? That's how we do it, man. All day, every day, man. You know that shit, Breeze. I appreciate y'all giving me the time of day, man, so we get this thing going and make another important market history. Yeah, that's a fact. You yes. know that. <laughs> it's for the culture, man. <clears throat> and these guys is, is so humble. They don't even have to be sitting here with me right now. But they gave me the time of day, and I had to make it my business, man. You know it's all love. It was treacherous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that traffic could kill you, bro. Yeah, you know bro. it's all love. Bro. It's all love, and it's all worth it, man. I know mm-hmm. my guys would have did the same for me. Mm-hmm. Definitely, you know? bro. Definitely. So, we're going to start off with Buck Dollars. Where, where did your parents hail from? Where did your family hail from, man? From out here in Brooklyn, you know, East New York those areas but you know truthfully like down south and all that like north carolina and shit like north that. carolina yeah north carolina bro yes sir a lot of our roots stem from the south yes body bag bricks what about you man where does your family stem from the, the roots ah you know the vibes well the roots roots is from <laughs> best side no cap you uh, know what i'm saying no but cap. i'm born and raised Brooklyn, East New York, you know the vibes, man. Boulevard Projects, we call that shit Body Bag now. So Body Bag Boulevard. So when you see them three Bs, that's what that shit stand for. Man. That's right. Body Let Bag Boulevard, you heard? That's what it's here for, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, fuck, you got any siblings? Yeah, yeah, true say, true say. I got, I got, I got basically, <laughs> I got two brothers and one sister. Don't I'm with that. one of my brothers right now. No doubt. Yeah, that's how that goes. You know? Thanks, man. What about you, Briggs? Well, besides my brother right here, of course, you know that. <laughs> no doubt. You know what I'm saying? I got an older sister and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We separated. She quite older than me and shit. Mm. Then on my pop side, I got my, my younger brother and my younger sister and shit. Shout out to them and shit. You know the vibe. No doubt. So, is it safe to say that y'all guys was the black sheep in the family? Yeah, on my end, I could say that, like, me, I wasn't too family-oriented, like, know what I'm saying, <laughs> growing up and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Nigga was in the streets and shit, running around. Yeah. You know, doing that type of shit. Got sucked in the streets a little bit at, at an early age and all of that. Yeah. Through the, you know what I mean? I grew up, you know, East New York Boulevard, right there by Linden Projects. Okay. Grew up, saw a lot of gang activity, you know, you know what I mean? A lot of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit take effect on your environment and shit, know what I mean? When it's done the wrong way and shit. But not to say it's, you know what I mean? Whatever, right. I don't want to go too hard, but... Right. My son was the black When sheep. you see the wrong shit, That's yeah. what I'm saying, he was the black sheep. Black sheep, bro. Yes, That's he got me with the black. Me? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, man. Mama's favorite kid. No doubt. No offense to all my siblings. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all know that's how I go. Somebody gotta be the Mike Jack and shit. Yeah, I'm the Mike Jack. Mama love me. That's a beautiful thing, man. That's a beautiful thing. So, fuck, did you uh, continue school? Did you graduate high school? Yeah, John Jay High School, passed that, you know what I mean? Then unfortunately, no college or nothing like the high school is where stopped that, got that, did that, made mama oh. proud, and yeah, I'm, I'm working. That's a major thing. Even going to high school is a major thing. A lot of cats, you know, jumped out the way. Middle school, eighth grade. Yeah. Some ain't make it past sixth grade. What right about now. you, Bricks? You made it to high school? Yeah, of course. I made it to high school and shit. You know what I mean? No I ain't finished high school, but I got my GED and shit. Then I went to college and shit, BMCC. But I ain't finished that shit. I ain't going to cap and all no that. Doubt. But I gave it a try. Shit wasn't for me, though. At least you tried, bro. Yeah. That's what you, you know. My bro could say that he did that. that. Yup, right. my bro could say he did that. He said he did it. You feel me? He was on me to try, but you know. You know what I mean? How you felt about that, bro? <laughs> I said, damn, bro. 
We already did high school. That was mad school. Now you want to do more school, bro? I'm mad, bro. You go run that. Let me know how I play out. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was at that time, at that point, when I felt like, yo, I did all the high school. I'm, I'm done, man. I'm done, bro. I, I, I took a break and I came back at, but it ain't about me, though. It's about buck dollars and motherfucking body bag bricks. Nah, yeah. nah, we appreciate that. We appreciate look, that. Uh, what I, one thing that I want to know mostly. What's up? Is, uh, did you guys ever get involved in crime? Did you get involved at an early age if you did, or was it later on in life? What about uh, start with you? Start All right. with you, Bricks. <laughs> start with Bricks. Well, yeah, like I said, my environment <laughs> got the best of me at an early age and shit. You know, caught a couple charges. I could talk about certain shit. Like, right. I mean, I had drug charges and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Juvenile. Yeah, young boy shit or whatever. Got caught up in all of that. You yeah. know what I mean? Something like. Right. That was early in my life, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. What about you, Buck? Yeah, you know, same shit when I was a kid. You know, got caught up in a little bullshit. You know what I mean? But for the most part, no, no real bids ever in my life. No shit like that. God forbid. No doubt. You know? You know what I mean? Pleasure. Um, any one of y'all seen the island? I know that's not really like a penitentiary. It's kind of like a in-and-out <laughs> spot. I this is both of us? Or? Yeah, Buck, start <laughs> with you, Buck. Yeah, we, well, me personally, I seen Rikers Island, you know what I mean? It ain't, wow. yeah. <laughs> How old were you when you seen The Rock, bro? Truthfully, I'm gonna say, damn, I'm mad, because I think it was at least a good 17 going on 18. Damn, what was your feeling when you got caught up, I know you don't really want to speak on what you got caught up. I appreciate doing, that part. But um, what was your thoughts when you was in that vehicle making your way to the, to the island? True say, it's one of these situations. Like, if you could be gangster in these streets, you gotta be gangster in jail. So I'm not trying to say it like that, like that's gonna handle the situation. But when I was on that bus, I was just like, damn, I know I can't be nobody chump and I ain't gonna be nobody bitch, right. but I'm mad that I'm even on this bus about to have to go deal with some shit that I'm about to go deal with. No doubt. You know what I mean? No doubt. <laughs> what about what about you, Bricks? Yeah, like I said, with that um that rock. early case, the selling crack situation and shit. I landed in um, OBCC for a little while and shit. OBCC, what's that for those that don't know? Um, yeah, you know that's how you. That's somewhere more than likely you're gonna pass through on your intake. If you fight in the case, you know what I mean. And if you ain't make that bell and shit, they gonna send your ass to the island. So you <laughs> might land up in OBCC and shit. Yeah, buddy. That was somewhere where I landed and shit. Until I made bail and shit, so no I ain't have to say that out long and shit. No doubt. I understand that part. So, Buck, when you got on the island, did you run into anybody that you knew that you had issues with? Yo, true say? Or was everything just regular? True say? It wasn't a regular situation. Like, I definitely, you know what I mean? Ran into the niggas I fucks with. And I definitely saw faces niggas I don't fucks with. Right. You know what I mean? But how the situation played out, you know what I mean? Niggas wasn't able to make no type of situations happen. So we'll leave it like that on that note. No doubt. You feel me? But yeah, I ran into one of my one of my homegirls, baby father and shit. You know what I mean? Shout out to the bro and shit. You know what I'm saying? Me and son, we held it down together and all that. You know what I mean? My son was a good nigga. So my person who stayed with that situation, it was I for that time right there. You know what I mean? That other issue, like I said, niggas saw a face and it was what it was. No doubt. What about you, bro? Nah, when I went in there, um, oh no, nah, the funny thing is I did see one person that I knew. I ain't see that nigga in years and shit. That's what was crazy. Wow. You know what I mean? But besides that, no friction. Everything was kind of smooth and shit. You know what I mean? Saw a couple of the homies and shit. Everything was loves. Like, and I was in and out too, kinda, so everything was love, man, it was cool. The reason why I asked y'all that mainly was because 
we lose contact with a lot of good dudes that we know from the street. And sometimes you think dudes may have fell by the wayside or whatever dude may have checked out. But a lot of them is in them graveyards that we call prisons and jails, man. Yep. It's like, yo, you see somebody, you like, damn, I ain't seen this dude in forever. This is where you was at yo, all this time? That's how, you know? Yo, that's, that's what's so crazy. It be those yeah. situations. See, true say, I, that didn't happen to me in jail, but yeah. that happened to me on the streets. Like, one of my homeboys that I ain't seen since basically, like, what is that, public school? Yeah. Yo, this is real sad, too. Not like that, like, not even gonna say sad, but... Yo, I ain't seen my son since public school. Right. When I seen my son, we, I had to be at least, like, I'm gonna say fair game, like 17, 18. He just came home from public school getting locked up. Yeah, wow. Breeze. Shit like that, Breeze. Wow. I don't even want to speak on you, know, I ain't gonna, right, but yeah, right, basically, right. like, yeah, 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 my yeah. son did a bit since we was in public school, okay? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's real life, man. That's real life. That's you know, that that really hurt because you hear stories about dudes going in the joint, eight years old, you know, twelve years old. Yes. And I'm like, man, you sure. know, looking at my sons, and I'm like, listen, man, can't be you. Can't be you because I did everything in my power to keep you from going through that hell. Yes. Damn. Now. Hundred percent. When. Huh. When the big bad bloods hit New York City, <laughs> how did you guys feel about the whole movement? Did y'all gravitate to it because y'all seen somebody that y'all rocked with that was, you know, that y'all y'all had love for that became involved, or y'all just, say, yeah, you know, you know what, what was it about it that another, that drew? Yeah, that's what it was. Basically. Where were you when you first found out about it, and how did you feel about it? You know what I mean? Um, me when I like shit was shit was crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah, I like when them. it first came and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, shit was crazy. It was vicious. <laughs> On my side, they were shaking shit up. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of people was fed. Like, they was had a lot of people were fed. Yeah. Part of me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, that was like the main purpose in the beginning. I ain't gonna front from what it looked like and shit. No doubt. The cutting and all of that, people were shook and all of that. It was, they were scared to death. But me, I seen all my friends, everybody I grew up with. You know what I mean? Definitely was basically affiliated. And that's how that shit go. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's Wherever you from and all that, like that's whatever right. is out there, more than likely that's what you're gonna gravitate towards. You know what I'm saying? Basically, Breeze, that's how we, that's how it happened, you know what I mean? And everything, only reason why I can say that is because everything what the bro saying is exactly, we from the same hood, so the same way he's giving it to y'all, the same way how it actually happened on our side. Like, that's what gravitated on our side and our areas, and unfortunately, it gravitated to us, and that's what we chose to fuck with, you know what I mean? No doubt. Now, when y'all finally decided to dedicate y'all lives to the car, the Damu cause. Did y'all have any good people, relatives, or friends that y'all grew up with that may have went to the other side that y'all had to kind of part ways or were y'all able to still coexist? When it is one of these situations, when it first, when we first, you know how I go, when you first get a part of something, you go about what it is, but you still always have in the back of your mind, like, all right, I know this is what this is, but if this, could kind of not make be an issue then you don't kind of like worry about it until it's brought to your face so basically you know i'm just basically saying like right. at first you had to move what the protocol was right then you know true say things switched up you know what i mean it ain't even just us things switched up true. and that's what made it be like if i'm just gonna say the opposite was family it was okay that you could deal with your family I just put it like that. Right. Right. That's, you know, I, I know that it caused a major, major separation in my life. You know, and um, a lot of kids coming up, 
They only see the one side to the, to the coin. Yeah. They don't see the opposite side of the coin. Mm -hmm. You're right. And, uh, I felt like I missed out on a lot of good relationships and, you know, money possibly. Yeah, opportunities. Opportunities, opportunities. not being able to deal with certain other friends due to the fact that I'm a, I, I, I took a oath to this, to something, to something that I know that I'm not supposed to fuck with them, basically. Right. So it, it, it did separate a lot of things that could have potentially been right for a nigga, but when you choose your path, you can't choose what's gonna happen on that path that you're taking. So I chose that this is what I wanted to do and this is what it was, and if the path said that I couldn't do those things or that wasn't there at the time, I would rather say, then that's what I had to do. Now, Fritz, you said you was like attracted to the the, the, the liveness of the, of the movement, you know? <laughs> Is it safe to say that other than the liveness, there was something else that was there that drew you to the movement? Like the love. Well, me, basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I grew up basically just with my older sister in the crib and shit. So like, you know what I mean? I needed brothers. Yes, so that was my, my situation. You know, everybody got their own personal situation why they fuck with whatever they fuck with. But I say to sum it up with my situation, I, those was my brothers, like, you know what I'm saying? All my brothers was that. And that just, that affiliation just made it feel more real. Like, these is my brothers. Like, this is my family. So, mm -hmm. that was my situation with it, basically. So, I've seen mine. Yeah. I, I, I basically had the in-house situation. All my older cousins, uncles, they always a part of it. So, right. it was already, like, brought into my household to where it was like, wow. All my cousins, all my uncles, this is what they saying it is. This is what, what basically, like, they bringing to me to where, like, even if I didn't want to know or be a part of it, it was there that I, I was already a part of it. So it was like, it was only right in my eyes that I had to do what I knew my older cousins and uncles was doing because those was people that I looked up to. So I felt like it wasn't nothing wrong when I when I got a part of it and I, I chose when I got a part of it, like even though I was a part of it, I had to not move on no funny ways. Like I did everything I felt was right when I'm as I was a part of it and then. No doubt. No doubt. I definitely feel you on that. Now, you know, people always looked at the negative in the whole situation with us quote unquote gang members as they call us. But uh, we always looked at it as a family. Correct? Mm -hmm. Safe to say that, right? Yeah, that's a fact. Now they tend to forget all the good things that it has brought to the communities as well. Yeah, that's a is fact. There, is there any positive that y'all seen along the way? Oh yes, my, my bro right here done gave back to the community on different altercations. Like me personally, I do everything for, for all the kids in my hoods. Anything that's possible to make sure that people know that just because I'm a part of this don't mean that I'm still not uh, well, basically like like a human being like yeah like like no don't look at me as oh because i'm part of this i might be um not not like basically like pardon me i'm, I'm caught up on so many words that i want to say y'all that is is it's just so much that it's just it's just i i want y'all to really understand the, the dynamics of basically what i'm trying to say like true say that i i am a part of this i always made it right with the community and with the people who may feel like because I'm a part of this is not nothing right coming out of this. It don't work like that, basically. My thought on that situation, like, you know what I'm saying? Just like what I said before, like, the same reason you gonna join or whatever, you gonna have the, you gonna perform the same, you gonna have your own reasons how you gonna perform. Some niggas gonna join, they like to bang. They like to do certain shit. You know what I mean? Some people wanna be more on it, help your community and shit like that. Me, I'm for that. Like, protection. Like, you know what I mean? Make sure no outsiders disrespecting. Make sure no, 
you got to make the older people feel safe. Like, yes, we you know, still homies yeah. chill in front of buildings and all of that. Like, you know, that's regular shit. I'll never tell niggas to not do that because I do that. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. You pass through, you going to smoke with the homies. But ladies come through, niggas' moms come through. Hold it down. Hold right. doors for ladies. Right. Don't disrespect older your elders. You know what I'm saying? Just right. shit like that. Some young niggas get shit like that a little twisted, like trying to be gangster all day. Like, soon as they wake up and shit. Disrespecting your moms and all that, like yeah, like they got it. They got to hold it down. Like, shit. I just like like how the bro said, Breeze. I just need the little bros just to understand. Like, it's not bad to be a gentleman. Basically, no it's not bad. It's it's actually a good thing. Absolutely, man. Hey, did y'all see a change in New York City when the Damu movement came? As far as See, people don't understand the thing about most places, not just New York, but most states and cities have block beefs or city beef, turn yeah. beefs or whatever. Yes, yes. Did y'all see this thing bring unification to an extent? You know what's so funny, Breeze? Not? You see, like, in New York, some sense it did do that you know what i mean it's like okay you know if you a blood then okay you know you could be good with this person vice versa if you a crip then you could be good with that person you feel what i'm saying so if it was no more basically like if it was just like i'm from east new york he's from brownsville but he's a blood from brownsville and i'm i'm a blood from east new york we could be cool but if it was just like some neutral timing it wouldn't probably be that type of feeling or it wouldn't even be that type of love it would be like I don't fuck with you just because you from over there. Right. Yeah, so I'm that kind of, right. yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like, I, I'm It'll down. be more just straight neighborhood shit, yes. probably. Like, yes, like, all right, if he's it from over there. gang shit. Yep. That shit bring more networking. Like, it's a more of an easy introduction to it. You know what I mean? Trustfully meet somebody. Yes. You know what I mean? Give them a chance. If you were real right, and, you know what I mean? Follow what you be pleasing to and all of that. Yep. Anything should be official if I meet you and want to just chop it up. Bring you to my sides or come to your sides. You know what I mean? Where you gotta go? Now, what they get what they get wrong is we're not glorifying what we do. We just know who we be, and we want the youngsters to know if you're gonna be a part of it, do things the right way, be positive. That's right a whole fact, right. I, yo, Breeze. That's a whole fact. Like, I'm not trying to say like everything is for every little. Young and generation, but my thing is if you choose that you want to take this path, just know on this path right here, you need to be doing everything that you'd be still doing if you wasn't on this path, but just right. extra harder now because right. you got a black coat over you in some sense by being a part of that. So by you knowing that, you need to do everything right so people can never just judge that part of your life. They got to go by what you've been doing right. So that means if you get a job, and you doing your job 110%, whatever your job is. As long as you can say, yo, I'm a working man, and I'm, I'm not just out here looking like the average, what they want to say, and I don't even want to say, but we all know what we're talking about, then, yeah, that will help the situation 100% more. You feel me, Breeze? Absolutely, bro. I definitely feel Word is wrong. Hey, hey, Buck, you don't even know one thing. I'm going to tell you something that you I ain't even tell you behind the scenes. I'm sure. a buck as well. <laughs> That's my birthday, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna hear my story when my story comes. So nah, nah, like that's what's up. That's what's up, y'all. You know, the world, the world is, is small, and you know we all connected somehow, some way. But with, what y'all both saying is so righteous, and that's why I rock with y'all because even though y'all teed up. Y'all still positive men. Y'all yes. still want something out of life. Y'all yep. still, you know, got got what you what you call talent, and, 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 and that talent comes with music and, and, and film. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But how old were you when you fell in love with music? Oh wow, that goes even with my bro. We could say like. Like public school, like you know, rest in peace. Grew up on the DMX. Shout out Beanie Seagulls. You know the Clue mixtapes, the the Jay Z's. No offense. Well, you know what I mean. Shout out Hope. All the old school rappers that was always taking over the radios. You know what I mean. Smack Shay Davis's. You know what I mean. That whole era. I, I was I was in love with music since 
I could even be able to really like listen to it in the crib like that. So I would say the earliest, maybe 12. I don't even want to try and go hard, maybe 12. Now I mean really like knowing like, oh wait, these is lyrics. This guy's talking about this or they saying this or that meaning that. Like, yeah, 12. No, no, no lie, Breeze. No doubt, bro. What about you, Breeze? How old were you? Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> like I'm around that same age. Like one of the main things that hit me in hip hop and shit that made me like really, like, like love that shit even more. Like I ain't gonna front. It's a little later, but like when um, Rockefeller and um, D Block was had their little beef and all of that uh, with the state property. Shout and all out that, Kid, shout Jay-Z. out She, all of them. Yo, that was one of my like dopest <laughs> moments. Like I was loving the shit out of that shit. Like yeah. mad dope lyrics. You know they was coming at each other. That shit was fire. Yeah. Like, it was like wrestling. Yes, yeah, yo, yeah, Breeze, I fire. hate you that you even said that. Yo, I hate him, buddy. Right? That was fire, that was fire. Good times, man, good times, you know. Bricks, yeah, uh, how old were you when you first started rapping? Like, what were the first songs you heard? You know, really like, like, you know what I'm saying? Around 12 and shit. My, my, main, my main shit that opened me up even on it even more a little Rockefeller, um, D-Block beef and shit with Jada Kiss and all that Beanie Siegel going back and forth. That was like, you know, one of my favorite shits personal. No you know doubt. Absolutely. Yeah, that so, shit had me high. Uh, so I know when y'all got it, you know, fell in love with the music and shit, but when did you actually start writing your own material and all that, boy? Um, basically like, Damn, I ain't even gonna front, Breeze. I came like a little late in the game. We ain't gonna say exactly what age bracket and all that. Like, I love you guys. I love you guys. But yeah, a little late on the game. You know what I mean? A nigga really just sat down and was like, you know what? I got a passion for this shit so much. Like, I gotta really just try and put it together. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Started a little early in the game. You know what I mean? Started cooking up. You know what I mean? And then started making it work from there. You know what I mean? Shout out, you know what I mean? Uncle Murder, GMG. You know? We had a little situation, GMGB, you know? Shout out to God, man. How, how is it, how, how is the God of the world, man? You know, every year he come with the, with, with the, with the wrap up joints and all that. I, I love his energy, man. What kind of, if you could describe him in one word, what would you, what would you be? True say? I'ma say he like he immaculate, like must, like like a stand up nigga, 110 percent around the world. Nobody ain't can never say nothing bad about him in my eyes about him, bound his back, nothing like. You know what I mean? Stand up nigga. Very honorable. Gotta have respect for the bro too, like. You know what I mean? People be worrying about like the money and all that, like. Bro help niggas out with opportunities, just the fact of being down with gang and shit. I'm always appreciative. I told him that too. He know the vibes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Word. That's the biggest picture. Yep. You know what yeah. I mean? Fact, niggas definitely That's appreciate A lane that he put us in, you know what I mean? For sure. Because y'all also had y'all fair, fair uh, parts in, in, the, in the film industry as well. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, shout out to the film industry. You know, we still working, we still working. Any major film companies, anything, me and my bro, we definitely tell, down to work with y'all. Tell the people, <laughs> tell the people some of the, some of the joints y'all had the honor of being in. Man. Okay, okay, well, you know, true say, we opened our first doors with Home of the Hitters. Know what I mean? Classic. Classic. Yeah, go go sure run that number fire. up, spill on that. Know what I mean? We trying to get to M on them views, we close. That's right. Know what I mean? Run that shit up, and then you know, true say, shout out Rafe, my son Shooter Shane, Miz, Kane, you know, for money yeah. and balance. You yeah. know what I mean? That's the that's the next big platform that. You know what yeah. I mean? Shout out Jay Z, title. You yeah. know what I mean? That's the next big platform that. True say, God bless me and my bro. We both was able to stand on that the first time. I even got to be more a part of it. So definitely appreciate you, Rafe, on that. Man, how was that? That was big, man. I'm gonna speak from my perspective on that, yeah. y'all. And then I'm gonna let my bro give y'all how we no felt doubt. about that moment, in no a sense. Doubt. Personally, when I got it, got I was it. like, yo, wait. I'm really about to do some real acting shit that I've never really been a part of ever in my life. And another thing, this is the top show 
in my whole number town. One, number one number show one. in my whole town and city, and I'm about to literally be a still, part of it. Still, still is. No still is. No if offense. they go pay attention, go to Title, go look it up. It's on Title still. You still can go run it up. Amazon Prime, you can go watch it on there too, if I'm not mistaken. But I definitely was so like, I ain't never say like, I was just like, like, my mind was blown. And then, like I said, even more, you know, everything is a blessing. My first time, and this is why I'm even letting my bro just step in. My first time being there, like I said, Breeze, this is true say. My first time being there doing this whole acting shit, and then I had to get the opportunity where I, my bro was there to be with me. And he could speak on his behalf. Ah, <laughs> how did you feel being a part of that whole my big, epic, shit, epic, that epic fucking moment in, in, in entertainment in Brooklyn history, <laughs> New York City history, and film history, and all history? How did you feel, bro? Yeah, with the money and violence shit, I had a little stand-in scene and shit. Um, I, I was mad appreciative to be a part of that shit. Well, you know what I mean, that shit was that shit was fire. Everybody, everybody wanted to be a part of money and violence. <laughs> They're alive. They say they did. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, I'll be the mailman. I'll do anything. Let me sweep the sidewalk. Let me get up in this shit. Yep. You know what I mean? But yo, that shit was, it was the hottest shit out. Field, yeah, and y'all made the cut, so that was that's definitely gigantic, man. So I love y'all energy and shit. That's why I rock with y'all. But uh, I also want y'all to speak to the to the people and let the people know about chasing their dreams, man, because. You know, they tend to think this shit happens overnight. You know, they, you know, people just get opportunities like that, just like that. Like, I'm gonna let you take it first, and then I'm gonna come in. And they, they, they just want to give up. What do you got to tell people that just feel like giving up, and they feel like they never gonna get put in those positions that y'all brothers were in to get ready to be into? Well, you know what I'm saying? First of all, you never give up on your dreams and like, for most people, like, like unless you're going into, like, a good situation or some shit like that, like, you got to work for that shit. Like, people will only see the good side of shit. Like, when you score on somebody Instagram, you probably see this nigga fragile. or he got bins or whatever, whatever. He got jewelry. Mm -hmm. Like, that man worked for that shit. Like, you know what I mean? He put in some pain. Probably when you home sleeping. Son is grinding, son is over here, he making this move, he going to meet this person, he making this call, like, that shit ain't easy, you gotta really keep pushing, like, anything that feels hard to get to, like, more than likely that shit is gonna be worth it at the end of the day, too, like, cause nothing like don't that. really come easy, I'ma keep it real, like, Tell him, nothing bro. come Tell easy, Tell bro, him. like, know what I mean, people be thinking, I'm in better situations than I am. I'm still a work in progress. I'm grinding. Like, I be trying to do mad shit. I'm doing music, trying to put together films. I'm trying to write shit. Like, this shit ain't easy, man. So, to anybody who even think about giving up and all of that, you feeling like up. shit is too hard, like, nah, nigga, you're on the right path. Like, it's supposed to feel hard. Mm. That mean you're doing something. Like, anything that's mad easy or you wake up thinking you're gonna do it whenever you want, nah, you lacking, bro. Like, you gotta be on that shit like a job. Like the same way yeah. if somebody go to work from this hour to this yeah. hour. Yep. <laughs> if you got your own situation and you're an entrepreneur, set some hours. Do that. Like yo, this time of the day I'm putting in this work. I'm gonna do this, do that in the third. You gotta put in some groundwork to yeah. succeed nowadays. So you know what I'm saying? Don't give up though. That's the main point. Like, don't yeah. give up. Y'all heard, don't give up. You can make it happen. That's a whole fact. You can make it happen. And I ain't even got to speak on it. My bro just gave you the real blueprint of how you need to move when you in that situation. So you might see us here like, oh, I yo, them bros, they, they just did that. That was easy. They probably woke up and that happened. No, we ain't about to go through that. And even if we not trying to go through that, we got what we got because we had to grind hard to get what we had to get. That's and now right. we here. But we saying the same thing to y'all. Grind hard. Don't let nothing stop your grind. I don't give a fuck what it part of me. I don't even want to curse because I'm talking to the youngest. And that's how much respect I had to catch myself. You feel me? Yeah. Like, young is like, don't never, ever let anything stop your dream of what you want to do. Never. I don't care who tell you, like, nah, it ain't going to work. You Nah, it's going to take too long. Nah. If it's going to take too long, it's going to take too long. But when it get there, it's going to be right. Absolutely. That's a big fact. Definitely, y'all. So, I 
know y'all gotta listen and let that soak in. Mm-hmm. Somebody listening right now that needed to hear all that. Yes, right. that's a they fact. Need to hear all that. So now we're gonna do we're gonna do what I like to say, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh last one standing, right? All right, all right. <laughs> y'all was on an island and you had three albums. You got all the bud, all your, all your, everything, you know, your, 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 All you right, know, three you albums know, we need yeah, to have? You need, but you only got three albums to listen to on this, on this whole island right here. I let my bro go his three yeah. albums, then I let I go mine. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> album, three, scrap. Three like albums. whole albums, yeah. like, uh. I, I hate you, Breeze, because I already it. got maybe one. I got maybe one right now for y'all. Three? Oh. You got these three albums to listen to, and that's it. Oh, three albums man, that's vicious. That's vicious. All right, I'm on an island and shit. Yeah, bro, I got it. I know, um, <laughs> I need some more. I need 50. <laughs> Let me see. Um, damn, yeah, this is that. That's it. You know what I mean? You got to rotate them. You got to rotate them. Oh, bad son, because I keep. I gotta go with of course Fifty First album. Oh, Fifty First album. He said, uh, uh, "Shout out Fifty. Get rich and die trying. Yup. Y'all, y'all both agree on that? Yeah. I'm gonna give him that because we 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 just did it together. Because we did together, so we it's us together there, bro. So we go with our first one. We gonna go with Fifty Cent. Give us die trying. Damn, he said three, oh, right? It's so many. I'm trying to like see. That, that. Um, you got two. Y'all got two more. Got the pod. Y'all got two more. <laughs> nah, I ain't going there with it. I'ma say. <laughs> That's the y'all just yo. Getting a lot of love too, cause that's the second time somebody said that they Ratchet Rico. The homie Ratchet Rico said the same thing. Oh, Which shout out Ratchet Rico, dog. You yeah. want to say my friend? Yeah, 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 I don't like him. I don't like him. That's that high uh, music, but I need. Um, y'all got two more. Oh, I put the I put the bros. I put the bros on the spot. Like that. Yeah, I don't like you right now, Breeze, cause we on thinking Tom. Uh, um, I need for you. Yeah. I'm agreeing with you, you need on that that life after, You need that That's biggie. That's what I'm saying. I agree. We're going to go with Biggie Life After Death double oh, album. We, go, we got to take that there. I need that. We got to take that there. All that. <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. I got to take it there. Oh, I don't That's like you. <laughs> we can't get full. We can't no, get full. No, we need four. We need four. I know it's Trey Gang, but we need four. I know it's Trey Gang, but we need four. Hey, yo, what I said again, man, we got fucking Finney, Mink, Gibbon, John Tryon, and Biggie right up to that, the double album. That's too fire. I'm, I could pump with that. Like, good. Go in the back, hypnotize, the can tell me what you see. Uh, I you need know, some hope. I ain't going to Oh, get rich and die trying. Oh, I need just no exit. Yeah, no. Please get the money. Damn, my son, Bean, that truth album, nigga. Notorious P.I.T. Three-one lockdown. What a thug about. I don't like you, Breeze, because we really over here debating with it's like a That's real it. crunch right now. You, it's man. a real crunch. I'm, I'm so mad that you did I, that I, like I, that. I, yeah, sir, because this is wrong. I'm gonna go we're gonna go with the truth then. You better let me get that. Thank you, thank you. Alright, yeah. Yeah, I gotta yeah. get that in there, cause okay. that was what? Right. We really All wanted. Right. Fuck that, shout out DMX, hell is yeah, hot. Yeah, word. Yeah, I can't word. even hear yeah, that. I had to, I had to, I had to go. I ain't gonna leave that, I don't word. care. Word. I don't care, I had to get that in there. That's our fault. That's our fault, we on the island with, I don't care. Oh, <laughs> we bumping on, we good. Yup, we bumping on. We bumping on, I don't care. Speaking on X, I might be bringing the good brother up. How did X? Y'all coming up. Oh, nah. My bro keep it tell you, like, I was yeah, a big bro. X fan. I was a super X fan. I opened the doors with my bro to even fuck with X hard body. Like, that that personally crushed me hard body. Like, you know what I mean? I'm in a situation where 
out of all the rappers I done met in my life and done came cross paths, X was one that I definitely wanted to meet. Like, you know what I mean? May he rest in peace still in my eyes. Yeah, one of the best rappers. I can't even take that from him. One of the best rappers. Like, you know what I mean? I don't want to bust no shots, but we all know what big top dog he beat in the battle. Oh. 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 He'll never agree on that, though. We know that. He'll never agree on that, but listen to what my son X said. He never lost a battle. He said, he said more <laughs> he, confident. Yeah. He said more he never confident. lost a battle. I don't know. Look, Breezy said at the same time, I don't know. We ain't touching no politics. I wasn't there to judge it. I'm not speaking on it. Yes, as usual. But uh, we'll leave it alone. Yeah. Who's your favorite actor? Oh, favorite actor. Favorite actor. How many? I got one. Get one actor. Um, probably I would say. I'm gonna run with my son. Damn, overall I I'm gonna say Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker? Yeah. No doubt. Chris Tucker. Up, I'm gonna go with Martin then. Fuck it. I'm gonna go with Martin. Oh, yeah, you I mean, wild out. I was out there you was gonna go there, nigga. He the reason you know I'm the reason why it's cause of you I'm fucking Martin, Martin, nigga. You know that, man. I'm mad you didn't get that. We might have to switch. I'ma let him get Martin. And I'm I'm gonna take fuck it. No funny shit. I even play fair like this. Let me think more of my I'ma go with Denzel. I'm gonna give I'm gonna go I'm gonna give the call to Denzel. I'm gonna give the call. My bro, cause you say Breeze is one of these, like as far as acting like Martin, my bro introduced me to that whole Martin way. Yes, I know, I know. His mom was, you fucked this up. Breeze is fucking niggas part of me, kids. He's messing our minds up with the questions. Like, it's just different. You know, we do a little well, you know what I mean? It's just a little crazy. But yeah, my bro truthfully introduced me with old Martin. So I had to remind him with that, like, yo, bro, Martin, one of your favorite actors, like, gotta give you that. And not me, I like Denzel. Watching him from coming up. I don't care what mood I was in, Martin make you laugh. Oh yeah. my God. Well, I, you be pissed, you ready to tie niggas up all kinds of Martin make you laugh. You know what, fucking nigga? I ain't, yep. I ain't yes. about that you. ass. That ass. That you know ass. I mean? And Denzel <laughs> is a Smooth. phenomenal actor. So oh my God. Yeah, he mad talented. He make you bro. really believe he's the, that yes. person. Yo. You know what I mean? Denzel, I don't know how you built that craft, how good you did, my man. But nobody is gonna never be able to be another Denzel with that crap, bro. If y'all could play in any movie that y'all that y'all want to, to be in, what movie would it be? Uh, me personally, let me say, I probably would classic or something that's that something that could be present. Cause me, I would want to play in, of course, my favorite movie of all time is Juice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's my favorite movie. <laughs> Mad at him, yeah. Breeze. Yeah. Yo, Breeze. Yo, yo, kids, y'all don't understand. Like, our minds think so much alike. Like, yeah, if you would have been, it'd probably be on the camera. That's how funny it'd probably be on the camera. Because I was saying my mouth like, I was already saying it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I would want to go with Juice. I would love it when I went with Juice. We should do it over. Oh, we should do it over, but we don't, we don't want to give them too much. All yeah, right, that's all right. We don't, don't want to give them all too right. much. Of them. Just hold that in your you mind. I mean? Because they, you know, yeah, it's yeah. a way to do that you too. You might gotta contact some people. Yeah, and whatnot. That could happen definitely. But um, for the most part, any messages I want to leave for the youth out there, because we took them all over the world. We let them know your upbringing to when you got involved with certain things as far mm -hmm. as the streets. Then we took them to show them the people that y'all do have dreams and there's more to y'all than just what they see on the surface. Right. Now I want y'all to talk to them directly and let them know if they could do anything anything what would it be well my advice to y'all like you know what i'm saying I hate you. I hate you. just stay on your grind you know what i mean don't give up whatever you doing stay in your lane man don't give these i ain't even gonna say 
it like that. Like, don't go to jail. Try your hardest not to give your time away. Yeah. That's one thing you can't get back, bro. Like, notice the police, once you do something, what they try to take from you. They don't want, they want your money, but what they rather have, your time. Cause that's the most important thing to a person. You can't get that back. So like, now I'm saying, be more, be more careful with your time and how you using and shit. Like, and especially to all the fathers, man, like, us black fathers, you gotta try to be there for your kids and shit like that. Like, you gotta be that figure for them. Like, know what I mean? Show them this, the new way to go and all of that. Cause we, a lot of us was brought up on lies and shit. So, yep. we just learning this shit. So, know what I mean? Shit should turn around eventually. But to all y'all niggas with y'all dreams and all that, like, just do your thing, bro. Stay in your lane. Focus on your craft, whatever it is. Just work the shit out of that shit, bro. Like you said, like, like this. I just feel like this. Any little little young boy that's gonna sit and watch this interview and really analyze this to the T and know that we just trying to make sure that all the young youth, we just want y'all to do nothing but positive things. Nothing that's gonna jeopardize you losing time out here in this beautiful world. You feel me? And that's that's my main thing. I just want every little kid female, you know what I mean? Just to really know, like, just whatever your dreams is, just really pursue them dreams. Don't let nobody stop them and take them from you. Just do that. You feel me? Like, that's that's how I feel, Breeze. Well, that's that, man. Y'all got the floor, man. Oh, yeah, you know, you know. Oh, you got the floor? Oh, oh, oh. Before I give y'all the floor, oh, oh. Pardon, pardon my oh. soul, before, before y'all get the floor to yourselves, how do y'all feel about you know, this whole, these Instagram beefs and these YouTube beefs and, Ooh, and all this, this, this madness that be going on all day, every day with these, uh, quote unquote, you know, gangsters and real niggas and all sure. that. Well, I mean, my take on that shit, first of all, like, you're not really supposed to be doing that. You don't mix street shit with the internet and all of that. That shit gonna get you caught up or whatever in trouble. Um, and second of all, like, you know what I mean? A lot of people utilize the internet in the wrong way. Like, that shit is for, you know what I mean? If you got something going on, like a podcast, yeah, trying to promote your stuff. music. Yeah, it's positive stuff. Trying to meet people, you know what I mean? Shit like that, but all that internet beef shit, that shit is whack. Like you're going to jail. Yeah, I don't you're going entertain to jail. none of that shit. I don't even barely watch. I don't watch stories. I don't really be on it like that. Like I mean, the subliminals. I don't really pay none of that shit no mind, bro. Like I'm on the internet to try to get some bread, do what I do, promote what I do. You know what I'm saying, why, just have fun why, with it. Why do, why do the haters hate the way they do? But well, most of that shit come from envy and jealousy, to be honest. Like, some people, this is my yeah. opinion on it. I feel some people, like, will probably see somebody and be like, damn, I, I should have that, or why, why I don't got that? Or be mm. mad at somebody just because they doing something good or something that they can't do. Like, right. I mean, that shit is corny. Like, me, I praise everybody. If I'm following you or you my friend, I'm liking your shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be yeah, liking no niggas shit before I even read your caption all that, because <laughs> everybody that I follow and shit personally, like, I have no problem with you, like, I'm not going to follow nobody that I have a problem with or feel have a problem with me, like, well, makes I don't no got sense. time for that <laughs> shit, like, that shit is corny, so, if you're following me and you got a problem with me, like, you're crazy, bro, like, because I don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, that shit is whack to me. That ass, like... Wow. Like how the bro said, like if you want to watch my page and come on my page saying hate in comments or yeah, just shit crazy. like that is like, why did you even follow me to even do that? Like you hating for no reason. Like it makes no sense. Like <laughs> I understand people. That's real, man. I mean, you know, we, we do need the haters, but it's like, you know. The, what I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I just really despise them because it's like damn do we really need them sure i don't think we i mean we need them to an extent to an extent but it's like when you it see this would be the thing it's like hate envy and jealousy it's the three bitches no offense yeah. pardon me you feel me it's those three girls and it's like 
they try and make them all be one girl and then try and use it like that. And it's like, I'm good with jealousy, all right, cool. You jealous because of what I have and you don't have, cool. But then when you come with the hate, the hate is like you're just mad because you don't have nothing else to worry about in your life that's going positive. So wow. you're just hating wow. because my life might not be nowhere near like how yours is. That's where it's a problem. Wow. And then the envy is more so when it's somebody that's close to you. And it's like, dang, you watch what I'm doing and now you could be doing the same thing because we together, but you right. enviously mad because you're not doing it the way that I'm doing it, I'm succeeding. Those are the three girls that I hate when it comes to this whole Instagram life. Yeah, wow. Basically, yeah. they break it down like that, like that's what it is. <laughs> Appreciate y'all giving me y'all time, man. Y'all got more than welcome to give it up. All right, all right. Y'all you know, shout outs to the people. All right. Yeah, I just wanna um, basically, of course, shout out to my kids and my 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 little youngest boy, my boy V3. King V3. You know the vibes. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to him. You know that. Um, free my guys, man. My boy Bally Mac. My son stacks the Billy. Both I of the mean, Billies. My homie White Bread and all that. <laughs> all the lotties. RP, my nigga Highs, my nigga V Low. RP. My um just took a recent loss, my um big, big bro pun. pun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pun. RP to the bro, free Debo Brown, yeah. all of that. Shout out whole gang, GMG. Shout out the whole body bag. Everybody in the East New York doing your thing. Shout out to you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. That's basically it. Like he said, shout out to all the niggas that fucks with us, you know what I mean? Oh, and another thing mainly too, shout out my bro Keys, man, you know the vibe. Oh yeah, shout out man. Keys, um, that's the bro, yeah, that's, that's the dog, brother, them. that's man. the dog, them. Shout out Big Grand and my Lokes, you know that buzzo, you know that. Yeah. Oh, wait, shout out Bobby too, that's my doggy, them. Yeah, yeah, you know that, ah, 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 slice, slice the belly. fucking belly, yeah. you know that, Shout them. out my nigga Shea Davis. Shout out Shea Davis, yeah. you hear me, yeah. Dun Dun? Yeah, OTF. Yeah. Original. Glam, you that's know that. You know that. Yeah, that's the bro. Oh wait, shout out my sis, you know, Karma Keys. Oh, that's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Bob. <laughs> Yo, you can it's go so many. check niggas out. They Instagram. Well, my Instagram at bricks, b r i c k s dot nine three. You know the vibes. You know what that stands for. My Instagram is buck dollars. You know the dot sign nine three. You know the vibes. You know. You know, Breeze. Yo, yeah, for the Lung Boys. New York. Yeah. You know New York. That. Um, yo, go check out our new shit. Yeah. It's coming out soon. The video for Two Valid. Shit is fire. Um, you can go check that really outside out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, niggas outside with that outside movement. You know the vibes. Been you outside. Niggas, always been outside. outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, we out here, Breeze. Yo, That's check this we, out. Yeah, I'm going to see you on a part two, too. I'm going to spin you through my hood and all of that. Uh, you know yeah. what I mean? Show you a couple of homies. Show you my hood. You know, oh, I'm God. from the hood where Mark Cross is from and all that. Same yeah. hood. Shout so, out Ashan. I'm going to spin you through that. You, you know, know shout out Moshe. Yeah. Shout out Ashan. Yeah. Shout out Mark Cross. Shout out the Giant. You already yeah. know. Shout out all the bigger bros. That's from my size. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know that. You know. Oh, yeah, for the young boys. Don't worry, it can happen, young boys. It can happen. We got a lot of it. We got a lot of it. It can happen. It can happen, young boys. It can happen. We can have it. Can happen. It can happen. It can happen. Like young boys. It can happen. 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 That's the last of it. I think. I think that's that. That's that. We outside. We outside. Breeze is nice. Pack. Shout out Flight Pack. Shout out Flight Pack. We outside. 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 We